Original Original I am currently in the doctor's office trying not to cry. My finger is in excruciating pain. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure we're not going to have any answers when I leave as to what has caused this. When I say I'm in excruciating pain, guys, this finger feels like it's about to bust open. That's how swole it is. It's sitting in a bag of warm water right now. I did ice earlier. It's like nothing is helping. I took Tylenol. I just took some Motrin that the doctor prescribed. I'm in pain. But I do love my children because, you know, they was like, we'll find something to eat, Mom. Thank you. But yeah, I need to go to bed. I just, I don't know. Like, I don't even know if I can sleep with the pain, but yeah, that's what's going on right now. I have been in this um, predicament before. Uh, and most of the time when I go to the doctor, they don't be knowing why I be in pain or what be going on. So I was pretty sure that was going to happen today. Um, but because it was so swollen, I think they all assumed like I had injured it. Um, and it was like fractured or something. And I kept saying I didn't hit it. I didn't do anything to my hand. Like I woke up like this. <laughs> don't make me laugh <laughs> like I woke up with my my finger like this um in the last vlog I talked about how I was having pain in the finger already um and I think me doing the kids hair just kind of was a straw that broke the camel's back and I woke up and it was swollen and in pain um, so I can't use my hand at all. If I use the other fingers, that hand it just screams bloody murder. I mean, that finger screams bloody murder. Murder. So, like, I can't use the hand at all. It's just unusable at this point due to the pain. Um, this morning, uh... I pretty much washed half of my body in the shower because how am I going to get the other side? <laughs> so I was struggling with that and then you, hold on. Huh? Yeah, I moved somewhere else to work because I can't focus with my new house. Yeah, move right here to this hallway okay. so I can see you. ADHD, you got to keep all eyes on them because you tell them to do one thing and they doing something else. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so getting dressed was a struggle. You should have saw me trying to put on a bra, and I don't know why I thought it was gonna be easier to do snaps than just pull a sports bra over my head. Maybe I was deliriously in pain and couldn't think properly. I don't know, but that was crazy trying to do that with one hand um and then i had to get my daughter to do my hair <laughs> do my hair she had to put lotion on my arms for me like just i was on the struggle bus and the pain woke me up at like four o'clock in the morning so i'm like oh my gosh i need to go to urgent care like i need to get it checked out for real because it's in a lot of pain so i said that and i'm like okay well let me look and see what time 
the urgent care open so I can be like the first person there. The website said 8 o'clock. So I got there at like 7.45. Get there at 7.45. And it turns out they open at 7.30. So it was so many people already in there. And I was like, man, it's not what I was trying to have happen. So it was just a long day. Um, uh, hold on, my bag is slipping. Okay, where did I stop? Um, yeah, so my hand is still in the bag. Um, the heat feels good. The cold does not feel good. But I ended up going to urgent care. I think I said all that. But they finally called me back. And she looks at my hand. And she's like, it looks like it's it might be infected. Okay. And so then she's like, uh, my x-ray person isn't here. And I don't have any antibiotics that would take care of that here. So I'm going to send you to the ER. Now, lucky for me, the ER is about one and a half minutes from where my urgent care is. But I'm like, are you serious? Like, bruh. So I end up having to go to the ER after waiting at the urgent care for about three hours. Um, get to the ER. ER says they don't think it's infected. Um... They did the x-rays. Of course, there's no fractures or anything because I didn't do anything to the stinking finger. <sighs> so basically, I left with no answers as to why it's swollen and pain medication. Story of my life. I was not surprised. Left me feeling much like the election. Not surprised. <sighs> so yeah, so now I'm at home. And I've got my hand in a bag, and I think I'm going to keep it here for a while because this is the best it's felt all day, honestly. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I've been down and out for about two days <laughs> in pain with this finger. Oh my gosh. Um, So don't mind me. I'm crusty and dusty and all of the above. But it's starting to feel a little better. It's still swollen, but it's not in excruciating pain anymore. So, as you can see, like, it's still swole, but I can kind of maneuver some of my fingers now. Before, I couldn't even do that. Ouch. I just hit it. Dang. Whew. Okay, anyway, it's time to get up. And it's time to get back on track. Um, ooh, go ahead and take a shower, get dressed, because I'm tired of laying in this bed. Psych! <laughs> I need to get up out of this bed, though. Not tired of it. I could probably stay in my bed and watch TV all day, every day for the rest of my life. But that's not healthy. So... All right, let's get ready to get back on track. I need to get um, some food from the grocery store. It's time for me to take my gut health seriously. <sighs> my stomach is tore up. Let me tell you, I told y'all a few vlogs ago that I needed to let dairy go because dairy does not love me. I had a little bit of ice cream, y'all. Oh, I only had I only had a little bit of the ice cream, and my stomach. Oh my gosh, like it's making me feel so ill. <laughs> oh, I am a glutton for punishment. That is not a good way to be. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to the store. I'm going to get some stuff. Just some healthy stuff. Because honey. This is not it. And I need to get my stomach under control. So let's get ready. 
Okay. All right, had to get my baby off the bus because they can't get off by themselves. I'm a big Say dad. hey. I'm a big dad. No, you're not. Yeah. All right, go put your stuff up. We're going to get ready to go to the store and get some healthy food. You want some healthy food, girl? Yeah. You going to eat it? Huh? You going to eat it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, about to go to the store. All right. Can you go upstairs and get my keys? Mm -hmm. This is my snack for today. Okay. I'll be right back. <sighs> my nose will not stop itching. Get the last bit of my water. Y'all see, I used to do you see that? Making uh, cheer clothes when my kids were on the all-star cheer team last year. Um, my little one is not on all-star this year. She didn't want to do it. And my big one is on the school cheer team. So, you know, they got their own stuff. So, I used to do that. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, mommy will be in the car. Okay. Okay. Um, I used to do that. Uh, what else? I also have a an online store. It's called the Beauty. Yep, so I have an online store. It's called The Beauty. Um, I need to be, <laughs> I need to be doing something in it. But I do have one, and then I've started YouTube, and I'm just trying to see what this direction. Is happening. Our just, just, just trying to see what direction. The Lord is gonna lead us in. Right, Boo? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where do you think he's gonna lead us? Mm -hmm. Where do you think he's gonna lead us? Where, Where do you think the Lord is gonna lead us? What job you think? Mommy gonna need to get. You don't know? You want me to have no job? I don't job. Do you want me to have no job? Mm -hmm. Or do you want me to have a job? I want you to have a job. You what? I want you to have a job. You want me to have a job? Why? Mm -hmm. You don't want me to stay home with you? Mm -hmm. Well, how am I stay home with you if I got a job? chicken three meals say you're gonna be in love with me it's driving me crazy hey. Yeah, okay, wrist so wet I might dry Bitch, don't talk, you going out tough I done made six half for the whole week Plug on a plane and I'm going no tea I done made four, five, seven on what I hop in that scat and I'm better your block Nigga want scrap, well let it go rock My little nigga got it, I bet he gon' pop I can make ten off face, no feeling Six got like killing on smoking gorilla Cover my niggas, just caught that nigga That was running off dog, I know they gon' kill him Smoking on killer and taking your bitch on the trip And I'm fucked on the floor my villa I ain't got time for two things, bro. These stupid ass holding they feelings. Ain't it? All in the pit my bitches just call it, they get it. They know that this ballin' off thinning. Chocolate vanilla can't hot, so I hot out the dealer. I caught a new car and I tin it. Won't lie, little bitch had a nigga down. But that it up, I don't. Oh, 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 o
off to see the wizard. Nah, for real. We're going to get a Maya. Right, Bree? Huh? We're going to get a Maya, right? Yeah. She's at cheer practice and it is time to pick her up. You have to bend down to pick something up. You can't be my friend. Oh my goodness. I'm about to eat healthy. <laughs> I got me some salad. Some great for root. About to make me some garlic toast. About me, what you what you know about me? What you know about me? What you what you know about me? And yes, I be getting the real French bread for a dollar at the Walmart. And I just cut it up and butter it up. Now the old me, first of all, let me go on the limb and say, I love bread. Like, love, love. Like, like, love, love, love bread. I could eat a whole French bread by myself. Warm that thing up and dip it in some melted butter. So I'm fat now. Amaya has a game tonight. 
So they're cheering for basketball now. Football is over. Thank God, because I don't like being out in the elements. You, you want some? Gotten up, took a shower, did my skincare, all that good stuff. Now I'm about to eat. And what time is it? It's 1.15. <laughs> but I made my bed. Go ahead and clap, because, you know, I don't be liking to make my bed. This is my salad. This is the salad, guys. I'm a picky eater. I'm not putting all that junk in my salad. This ain't, ain't nothing in here but lettuce, cucumbers, and chicken. I dare, I dare you to say something. Shoot, it'd be good. So, my plan for today is, after I eat, I'm going to go to the grocery store really quickly um, for Amaya's game. I'm responsible for drinks this week, so I'm going to go get some drinks for her. And I'm going to come home, get the kids ready to go, and we're going to go to the game. And that's going to be it. <laughs> Dinner is already cooked. Um, I think earlier in the vlog, I posted from yesterday, uh, three meals to make out of a whole chicken. So I got the meals, they in there. That way I don't have to cook every day. Okay. So that's my plan for today. Um, yeah, so I'll see y'all later. I wish I could get my dumb time back. Worrying about people who weren't even worried about me. Worrying about situations that God had figured out already. And what I've discovered is, for many of us, sometimes I can't have a sound mind. Because I'm holding on to pieces of me that are outdated. That keep keeping me where I was, not where he wants me. So God has to recall. Or bring you back. So he can start working on you. So you can be what he designed you. That's why for some of you, you can't date right now. Your heart on recall. It's been through too much that if you get in another relationship in the state your heart in, you're going to hurt somebody or you're going to get hurt. So God said, I got to make sure you got a sound mind. And I speak over your life. I don't care what's going on in your life this year. God's getting ready to give you a peace that cannot even be quantified or explained. Is a parent's time not important? I'm I'm just wondering. I'm tired of coming up to this school for this girl. And then she show up when she feel like it. School is out. Go from your last class to my car to get what it is that you need. And going about your business. But no. It is. Four o'clock. And school got out at 340. And I was here 10 minutes early. So I have been waiting that long outside in this car. And she is nowhere to be found. But I'm going to be wrong. If I text her and say, I'm leaving, I'm gone. But you wasn't worried about what I needed to do. Maybe I had something to do before your game started at 4.30. You don't know. These kids just think they... We live our, we live our lives for them. <laughs> That's what they be thinking. Here she goes. She ain't even dressed or nothing. So what you been doing, bro? <sighs> Who? The bleep? Sign me up for parenthood. Is it okay?
okay to say you sick of your kids? <sighs> Is it okay? I don't even have my handy dandy. I need to talk to y'all. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just, I'm just tired. I'm tired and I'm tired. I'm tired. Set y'all up against my pocketbook right here because. No, come on, come on. Okay. Listen. Don't nobody make you feel like you're a failure like your kids do. Bro. That's real talk. I, I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody say. I, I don't care. I don't care what nobody say. Nobody makes you feel like a failure like your children do. Let me be calm. In my house, we have rules, we have regulations, we have expectations, and we make all of that clear. All of it. Keep this up. Oh, oh. I think I think this better. Oh, there you go. Oh, yes. Okay. We have expectations. We have rules. We have regulations. We make it clear. We make it plain. They know. We discipline. We take things away. We punish. We do all of that. We do um, positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement. We do it all. Okay, me and my husband take our job as parents seriously. Um, we give nurturing when we need to nurture. We give love when we need to love. We give discipline when we need to discipline. We give parameters when we need parameters. Like we do all the parenting things, okay? All of them. Um, having four children is four different people, okay? It's four different people who need four different things. And that is hard and challenging in itself. So, the, whoa, they be pissing me off. <laughs> I don't even know, like, I, my head, like, okay, so what's going on? I'm out here at the school, out here at the school to give drinks because the cheer team needs drinks. I want drinks today. This girl comes to my car. She looks like something is wrong. Okay, my spidey senses, mama senses is going off. What's wrong? What's what's going on? Because do I need to go fight somebody? Like, what is the problem? What's, what's, why are you upset? What happened? She gonna say... I can't cheer to my coach says I can't cheer today because I got a bad grade in math. Why do you have a bad grade in math? Why? Um So yeah. I look up her grade in the dumps. In the dumps. A part of me, you I, get your stuff and get in this car and let's go. That's how ticked off I am. That's how mad I am. Because you wasted my time, you wasted my energy. Just you can't do what it is that you're supposed to do. You are responsible for your grades, and you will not bring inadequate grades into my house. You're not an inadequate learner. You don't have any problems except for you're lazy and don't want to do the work. So, we had these issues with her in middle school. By the time she got to eighth grade, she had got herself together, you know, so building the trust back. 
last semester, her first semester in high school, I was watching. She did good. Good progress report, good report card. I'm backing off because I'm feeling like, okay, I can trust you to get your work done and all that stuff because cheer is important to you and you need good grades to be on the cheer team. So I'm thinking, okay, finally I can take a minute. I can, you know, let my guard down. I cannot be so intense because as you know, I have another child, my son, who is diagnosed ADHD. And he needs somebody on him like white on rice. And that takes a lot of energy. Oh my gosh. It takes so much energy. It takes so much energy. So I was glad when I didn't have to be on her like that because I'm expending so much energy with him just trying to get him to complete an assignment. At this point, he don't even complete classwork. <laughs> and so when he doesn't complete the classwork, you have to bring the classwork home, which means he has homework. And then the classwork that he has to finish, it takes him forever. It's nine o'clock. We're still, do your homework, get your homework, get your homework, get your homework, get your homework. All day, every day. It's so taxing. So I'm thinking here, my, my ninth grader is, she's good. She got it going on. And now you talking about you got a freaking, I don't even want to tell y'all the grade. It's that bad. What the freak are you doing? I I know what you're doing. You're doing nothing. That's what you're doing. You're doing nothing. Ain't no way you're doing something and got a grade like you got. Bruh, are you serious right now? I'm so angry. I'm so angry. Just, you have violated my trust. I'm just, I'm not happy. Definitely went and got this. Wish you would talk on a freaking cell phone at my house. I don't even pay the bill, but. My baby daddy paid a bill and you ain't going to be paying. You ain't going to be using it in his house either. I got to go get a tablet. After she got a tablet, she be talking on. She ain't fin TV. She about to be on the same punishment her brother on. Don't do shh except for homework and chores. And then take your tail to bed. They make me so tired, bro. Like, when I say how many times as a parent do you want to pack your bags and just go? Not to say I won't come back, but I need to go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But what messed us up was my oldest daughter. She messed us up. She did. If I could replay it, I needed her to be like number three in the order of my children, okay? She's anal. She is anal. Which means if she had an assignment, she was doing it. If she had a due date, it was done early. If, you know, her teacher told her something had to be turned in, it was turned in, okay? Like, she was on her stuff. I ain't never, ever had to check her homework. I never had to check behind her. I never had to go up to the teacher and try to figure out what's going on with her grades never in her whole life she is now a freshman in college her whole life I have never had to do, do that she just called me yesterday talking about she crunching the numbers for her <laughs> for her grades now trying to make sure her final grades gonna be looking like they need to be looking 
My other children don't do that. My oldest was a salutatorian in her high school, number two in her class. She has messed me and my husband up, okay? Like, why my other kids can't get it together? So we're having to learn how to parent children who don't give off that energy. And it's a struggle. I should have started off with the struggle and then it get easier. Not start off easy and it get hard, bruh. Oh, this is my therapy session for today. Just please excuse me. I just, I don't know. I'm just, my husband is at work and I can't talk to him and vent to him right now. So I, it, I, I got y'all. So that really, that, that really just, that did something to me. Like, I don't know. They won't let you come sit in the in the schools no more. Back in my day, you know, parents could come sit in the back of the classroom. I would be that parent so bad. Like I would be <laughs> if they would let me, I would be right there. Bruh, you be sick of me. Hey, where you going, Mom? I'm going to school with you. <laughs> I'm going to school with you. Shoot. I can see what's going on, because obviously you more concerned about boys and stuff than you are about your work, honey. Tell me I don't understand. That is not an excuse. If you don't understand, you need to be asking for some help. You ain't told nobody you don't understand. And then I be thinking about you sitting at my kitchen table, eating dinner with us, skinning and grinning and carrying on. But you got grays looking like they looking. What is you skinning and grinning in my face for? Need to be skinning and grinning in a book. That's okay. I'm going to have to put her on the same regimen that my son is on. And I hate to do that, but bring me your computer every day. Every day. Let me see it. Let me see it. Bring it here. Half the time, I don't even know what I'd be looking at. I'd just be looking for the numbers. Is there a zero? <laughs> this assignment was not done. Oh, Jesus. She talking about. I'm just, I'm just, I'd be wanting to say the grade, but I'm not telling y'all that grade. But she talking about her teacher ain't graded three assignments. Ma'am. If you were handling your business and doing what you were supposed to be doing, even if your teacher had not been, had not graded three assignments, your grade shouldn't be that bad to where you're depending on it. So that means your grade was already bad. It's already bad. I done did this for 14 minutes, y'all. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going to have my husband pick her up because I'm not coming back out here. I'm not doing it. And she in there crying. I don't give a John Brown flip about your tears. You should have been thinking about that when you decided that you was not going to do your assignments and complete your work. How about that? Her little cheer friends coming over there giving her hugs and stuff. Oh, no. She all right. She all right. That's okay. And I be asking her, you got homework today? No. No. She claims she does her work in between the time period they have after school ends and um, chair practice. That's when she says she does her homework. Obviously, I don't know. I'm not here. And I do remember my high school days. 
and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trip like it don't happen but you know when I was in high school I'd be on the bus in the morning doing homework or let me see your uh, homework and let me copy it in the class before the class is due in stuff like that I ain't even gonna say too much on that because that's what that's what kids do but you ain't even doing that I didn't do this assignment like can i see yours because i want my grade to get bad no instead y'all just don't even care you don't care until your ass is caught me and want to cry <sighs> anyway i'm gonna end the vlog here <laughs> Oh, I do feel better though. Oh my gosh. I had to get that out. But I'm going to end the vlog here. Um Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all just stay tuned for my next video. Um Yeah, I just I can't. Go ahead and like it. Um go ahead and comment down below. Y'all <laughs> help a sister out like where can I send them or where can I go? <laughs> Shoot, find me, find me an island, okay? I need like a good week. Just a good, okay, maybe two weeks, maybe two. I need me an island, but that's neither here nor there. You guys go ahead and like this video, comment on this video. And if you enjoyed the video, please think about subscribing and coming back to see me next time. All right, that's all I got. Bye. Original.